Ms. Hilda Breffis and Plus TV Africa, many thanks for joining us. We head straight to a second conversation. We'll look at the issues uh, with the ADC. And this morning we have governorship candidate of the ADC, uh, Ezekiel Nyaito, who joins the conversation. Ezekiel, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. We also have uh, Mohammed Abdullahi, he's a public affairs analyst. Thank you, Abdullahi, for joining us. Always my pleasure. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning. Well, the National Working Committee of the African Democratic Congress, led by Chief Raf Nwosu, was suspended 17 state chairmen of the party over what is described as anti-party activities. In a statement jointly signed by its national chairman, Nwosu and National Secretary Alaji Said Abdullahi, the party suspended the former national vice chairman, North East, Alaji Ibrahim Manzo from the party. The party also announced that the former presidential candidate of the party, Dr. Mani Ahmed, has been appointed as a new board of trustees BOT chairman. The party stated categorically that all members of illegal category committees have been suspended by the party. The suspension is due to, like I rightly mentioned, anti-party activities as stated categorically in such in terms of conduct and alterances aimed to bring the party into uh, you know, dispute, attempt to destabilize the great party on the negative publicity and various activities in contravention of Article 15 of the party constitution. Uh, Ezekiel is here with us, Nyaitok, is uh, the a governorship candidate of the ADC, and Mohammed Abdullahi, a public affairs analyst. But quickly, I start off with uh, Hezika Onyaitok. Can you please tell us exactly what's going on with your party? Okay, I, I think uh, what's going on with ADC is a teething pro pro um, um, problems or issues or challenges of a party that is uh, going through a certain metamorphosis. Changing from one stage to another can be very painful. Uh, there have been people who have been used to certain systems and processes, and those things. Ezekiel, can you hear us? The network isn't being too friendly. At um, work. <laughs> uh, Mohammed Abdullah, what are your thoughts on, on, on the ADC and its travails in, you know, since it began the, the task of choosing a presidential candidate it seems that was the genesis of problems because since that presidential primary the party's primary held at the Ulushe Basanjo presidential library in uh, Abeokuta uh, all has not been the same with the ADC um, King Simogalu and a number of persons including the likes of Savage and Co uh, uh, and his block left the party in a cloud of dust you know controversy over whether dollars were shared or not shared at the party's primary um, in in Abelkuta. and it's been a fuji house of commotion since the party has been out of the news and recently made the news when uh, suspended the presidential candidate so um abdullah what are your thoughts on, on on this party it was meant to be i think the adc was seen as one of the possible leading third force parties me? yes abdullah are you there can you hear me now? Yeah, yes, sir. We'll, we'll come back to you in, in a second, sir. Sorry about that. But yes, uh, uh, so, uh, Mohammed Abdul, what, what do you say about this? The uh, ADC was seen to be one of the um, the rising third force parties, possibly the vehicle to be doing what Labour Party is doing today. Mohammed Abdul. Yes, um, I I was wondering why Mr. Ezekiel was talking about metamorphosis earlier, because if uh, if my memory serves me right. I know ADC has been in existence. In fact, almost uh, all through the faces of our nascent democracy more than 17, 18 years ago. In fact, one of the uh, problem that is uh, uh, ravaging the party at the moment is the fact that uh, these, uh, the, the current chairman of the party, Mr. Rap who has been the chairman of the party for the past 17 years. That is what uh, the presidential candidate and other um, chairpersons of the party in about 17 states were complaining about before they were allegedly either kicked out or suspended from the party. So uh, I don't think I will agree with Mr. Ezekiel uh, from his earlier uh, notions that the party is going through metamorphosis. I believe 17 or more years is, uh, is, a, is a good time, is a good number of years for a party to have metamorphosis. In fact, like you mentioned, ADC was tipped to be 
like uh, the, 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 the big thought force, because I remember even in 2019, the former president, Olusha Gwambasanjo, adopted this party after publicly uh, leaving uh, PDP, yeah, and he formed the Coalition for Nigeria Movement. It, ADC was the party the former president, Olusha Gwambasanjo, adopted, even though he said he would not be a, 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 a physical member or a member of the party. But it is this same ADC that he adopted, you know, garnering a thought uh, for support. So we, we don't really understand why at this critical time, the party that is supposed to, like, um, uh, you know, give the top uh, two leading parties in Nigeria, PDP and APC, if you allow me to say that, the run for its money is uh, enmeshed in such a cheap uh, crisis. So All right, at this point, point, let's bring a Zika and Yai talk down, uh, because we have... We don't have so much time on on us now. So, Ezekiel, uh, you, I was asking what exactly word, is going on with yes, your party. And word, you talk about the, the fact word, that it, you're in a growth stage and he's responded. But I'd like you to continue and also respond to yes, some of his concerns. You. The word, yes, the word is metamorphosis. And please tell my brother that you can, you can metamorphose, you can rebrand at any age, even if you have been around for 80 years. You can rebrand. At that rebranding stage, it's metamorphosis. And I speak not just as a member of a ADC, I speak as a candidate, not just as a candidate, but a BOT member that I was. Not just that, but the person who brought Moralu to the party, person who brought Kachiku to the party, somebody who is central to everything that is going on now. So I'm speaking as an insider. There's been this issue of, um, oh God, it's frozen again. I hope I'm being heard. Yes, okay, we, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, this yeah. issue of, yeah, go on, I'll go on, that people don't really believe that as you are a candidate, you are coming to contest and beat the people that are there. So we are having a crop of people now. So all these blame games are just misunderstandings from both sides. And I want to tell us, let us not unduly expose this to the public because sooner or later, now, the, the, the management is feeling that, or the, 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 the management of the party is feeling that our presidential candidate is too cold. We're not seeing anything. The presidential candidate, on the other hand, is being told that the party never follows people to the end. So each person is like trying to say, like, show me that you're not going to sell me out. This one is saying, show me that you're not a, a sellout yourself. So the, the, each person is going back. And holding their positions, if you are not serious, we can't work with you. And the other one is saying, you know, if you are, if you are going to sell me out, I'm going to checkmate you. So each of them, in the next coming weeks, the presidential candidate is going to show that he's serious about contesting. And then the management are going to see that, okay, he's serious. Okay, let's meet halfway. So things are going to settle very soon because the suspicions will give way to realities. Right now, nobody is selling anybody in ADC. We are all going into the elections. And we uh, we're, 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 we are... we're still talking about the issue of the suspension of, you know, this chairman. Yeah, across. those suspensions uh, are just... I mean, the excuse that has been given or the reason for the suspension is that no. uh, they are involved in anti-party politics. And he's no, mentioned... The issue, is, the issue is the two sides. There is kind of mutual suspicion. And once each side goes to work, you put the party in place, and then you, I show you are serious. We're going to come back in the next. Are you saying that there are factions? Are you saying that there are factions in the party? No, they are not factions. They are just disagreement within the house, and each person is going to do, go back, and then they will reconvene. It's just an internal thing that is happening. That's what I'm talking about. The metamorphosis. There is a rebranding process, and the internally, these are things that probably shouldn't have been in the public. Yeah, internal, you know, house cleansing methods, and we're going to come back stronger. And I tell you, ADC, please replay this program in about two months maximum. ADC is coming back stronger because the party will now say that they have a serious candidate who is making some serious inroads. And then they. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, right. uh, 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 before we go, very quickly, uh, um, I mean, uh, I'll come to you, Mohammed Ablai, but um, it's looking at to care. It's, it's clear that, you know, the. There are two camps in the ADC, one loyal to Ralph and also has been the leader of the party for all these years. I don't know if he's the one who registered the party. Is it the one who registered the party? He's been, he's been the founding member of the party. He's all been, right, fantastic. He's been so, so uh, is it, and yeah. all our respect, yes. Okay, so it, 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 and uh, there may be Kachuku who is um, leading a, a new force in the party, like you were saying, rebranding. 
Uh, we understand yeah. what you mean. Um, will will, will um, uh, what's his name? Ralph will also be um, be scratching his head and regretting uh, that Dumebika uh, Chiku emerged as the the it's presidential the, the candidate of the party because has. that has now meant that uh, his um, the death, or, you know, seeming death of uh, uh, the the leadership of Ralph Ralph was also in the party. No, 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 no. We respect that man to high heavens. We respect him. Mr. Wosu just wants to know that our presidential candidate is serious. That's all. He's been my friend for over 30 years, Mr. Ralph Wosu, a family friend. So I respect. He just doesn't want to, to, to the, 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 the speculation that is going on that the candidate doesn't, he doesn't mean business. He just say, Ezekiel, let your friend show me that he means business. But, but this, 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 this same candidate was suspended by the party. It doesn't matter. Yes, Abdullahi, go ahead. Please, this is um, um, no one is antagonizing a ADC here, Mr. Ezekiel. My, that is just my observation, like I mentioned earlier. And you also mentioned something now. You said there is a kind of suspicion between the two parties. I mean, the founding member who is the chairman of the party for the past 17 years and your presidential candidate. Now, is it not, what does it tell about your party, sir, that after you've gone into convention, you've selected your president, presidential candidate, and now you are having doubt if that presidential candidate is actually not going to sell your party out. What does it say about your party? So it means you've not done your homework, you've not done your background check, and it is at the later stage. It's like you are putting the horse before the cart, which is not supposed to be, you know. So I think, like you mentioned, there's an internal release in ADC. And you are supposed to have checkmated this at the earlier stage, not after you have selected a flag bearer, then you are not having a doubt whether that flag bearer will work for the party or not. That, so that, that's, that, that's, I think that's a challenge that the party Yeah, but, but, but Mohamed Abdullahi, you, 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 we know the, 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 the general view or expectation of people was that um, Kingston Mughalu would emerge as the presidential candidate of this party, uh, being the most uh, visible and uh, some people believe he's the most sellable and the most qualified of the candidates. That is debatable. This was, if you look at the views generally in the public, he was a popular candidate, having been a presidential candidate before. Um, Dumbika Chiku was, we didn't see him. He was sort of a wild card. Nobody expected him to even upstage um, uh, um, um, even the other gentleman from the Southeast, mm. whose name I can't, uh, um, uh, Ch Ch um, Ch um, Moye. Yeah, uh, you know, he, he was even expected to come in second, or at least be the next person to get that, that, that slot. Now, uh, do you think that um, uh, the party chairman and the officials of the party who are affected by uh, Dumibika Chiku and his faction and the their, their, their way they're going about their things now, do you think they'll be regretting um, not, not working so hard to ensure someone like Mogalu emerged as uh, the party's flag bearer? It, it, it depends on what you mean by not working so hard. This gentleman that you also mentioned, Dumebi Kachiku, means he's worked so hard to emerge as the presidential candidate. You understand? Okay. In party politics, you can't say... Well, okay, why, why I'm asking this? Why I'm asking this is that there were very, very loud um, um, uh, 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 rumors or accusations or allegations that money exchange hands that Kachiku Dumebi used underhand tactics to emerge as the candidate at the end of the day is what i'm talking about I and of course I, if you if you read if you read his 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 statement <laughs> of resignation his letter of resignation for the party you can see he was disappointed in the conduct of the party's leadership for not backing him in the midst of all this bribery that was going on you know should i tell you about what happened in the lagos state primaries of the party so this is what i'm talking about well well, I think Mr. Ezekiel will be in a better position to answer yes, that question. Yes, yes. I, I, wish, I wish I had just one minute to do that. One I, minute I, I, I want, or less. Yes, I want, I want to be put on record. Mr. Mohanu will not look me in the eye anywhere in the world and say that money exchange hands at the primary. He will not. He will rather tell you that the processes leading to the primary were not very straight forward in the sense that changes were made at the last minute because the party did not have enough money to run the convention. But okay. he will tell you that the convention was free, fair, transparent, and credible. But he will say that the management leading to that, and that would be understandable because all the parties had a problem. 
a day or two to the to the convention. Ezekiel, like, we, we have to go now. I'm I'm sorry, but we have to go. Thank you so much. We will continue this conversation some other time, and it's always a delight, you know, to have you uh, share your thoughts on some issue. And at this point, I mean, it's your party. Uh, you are also a candidate uh, vying for that position, the governorship position in Aquabom State. Well, that's it. Thank you so much, Ezekiel Yaitok, for being with us this morning. And thank you. Metamorphosis like butterfly, we are coming out. <laughs> but but you, you also said teething problems. Um, Th I'm thank sure, you I'm so sure much, Mohammed Abdullahi. Abdullahi, you know? <laughs> missed that. Abdullahi, thank you. <laughs> we have to go now. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time and uh, uh, for, for your patience us. with us thank as well. You. Thank you. All right. Um, it's been an interesting uh, episode of um, The Breakfast. Uh, the party is heating up, and we expect to have more of such conversations. Thanks for joining us. Um, you can follow us on the social media platforms, Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Patels. Good morning, Chief. And I am Messi Boko. Have a great morning.